Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Anna and I'm a random stranger on the internet talking to you about beauty. All right, so it is mid-month, which means it is time for my project pan update. This is my 2019 rolling project pan update. I apologize if the light goes in and out. I try to film with natural light as much as possible. I just think it looks lovely, but it's inconsistent. It's natural. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing my first ever project pan. It is a rolling nine project pan, and we're going to talk about my updates today. Now, I follow the inspiration of the fabulous Christina Chang, and I keep tallies of everything that I do, so that way I know exactly how many times I have used a product. This month is going to be significantly less use than any of the months previously, on the sheer fact that I was on vacation this past month. So I did not take, sorry, I'm like using my phone to hold my book down. The pages keep flopping over. Um, I didn't take, I don't think I took a single project pan item with me, maybe one or two things, but I, I wanted to try all new fun makeup on my vacation. So I just didn't bring the products that I'd been using. So that's a good, week and a half almost two weeks of use that i didn't have so not a lot of progress this month but still we're making headway and i'll show you where all we are all right the first item this is the bare minerals uh foundation this is an original powder foundation in golden fair i've been using a lot of more fluid foundations this month and i've actually been using this as my setting powder I don't know if you can see there on the side, but there is very little left. However, I only used this three times this month. So, slow going, but I also only used it three times. Item number two is this single. It is from the New Dude Palette in the shade Flirty. It is from the company The Balm. And this is where we are. Now, I only used this five times this past month. Um, I've talked about this a lot in my updates, but it is not, let me try to swatch this. It is really inconsistent quality. It's just too old at this point to be truly fabulous. However, I just want to finish a single and I don't feel like it's hurting my eye or anything. So I'm still tugging away at it, but I only used it five times this month. Next item is this little, Tart Mini in the shade Party. Everybody and their mother who is painting this year is painting this because it was a Sephora beauty, like a Sephora birthday gift a couple years ago. I'm just trying to use mine up. This is our progress. Now, I used mine eight times this month. I probably should have taken this on vacation with me. I did actually kind of miss it, um, but there's I don't think there's really noticeable difference between this and the last update that I gave you. The next item is another blush. Uh, that is a lesson I have learned in this project pan. I will never ever pan two blushes at the same time again. They just take forever and they're so slow going and I'm just like, no, no, this is the last time I will pan two blushes. Not the last time I'll probably pan a blush, but my goal originally was to hit uh, to finish up both these products. At this point with this Milani blush, I will just be hoping to hit pan on this product. I will dance in the street if that happens. Um, I only use this four times this month. So you can see the dip there, I think, a really noticeable dip. I can't actually see it in person when I'm looking at it, but in the viewfinder, it actually, to me, feels like you can see maybe the circle. I don't know. I'm wearing it today. It is a stunning summer blush. I mean, this is the Rose de Oro baked blush. It was huge years ago. Um, and like I said, I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful blush with a lovely gold highlight. I would love to have more highlight to kind of make it pop a little bit more. However, I don't own any gold highlight. I've talked before on my channel how I, I'm not really a highlight girl, so I've got some area for growth on that. But very slow progress on this this month. I only used it three times, so that's my own fault. Next month, I intend to use it more often and see if I can really make it pop a little bit more. 
Speaking of items that I am panning two of at the same time, and that was dumb, um, I'm actually panning two, well, I'm not panning, I'm trying to use up two mini blood or mini bronzers, I apologize. The first one is this deluxe in the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I use this seven, eight times, eight times this month. And that is our progress. Um, I don't feel like the pan looks like it changed that much. However, now that it's summer, my skin is actually picking up a bit more color. I feel like I can be a bit more heavy handed with it, which is nice because I'm so fair that I go through bronzers really slowly. And now I'm finally in the point of the summer, you know, mid June where I'm like, yes, pack it on. <laughs> so I thought I was making more progress than that, but I mean, it's still a pretty good pan. You know, I don't know if I'll end up finishing this up by the end of the year, but I'm going to keep tucking away at it. The other one was the Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess, another deluxe sample size. I only use this five times this month. So again, not very much progress. You can see, I mean, this one I'm going to finish up. I'm definitely going to finish this up. It's just slow going. Um, and I know, I know I need to repress it but mm, I won't go into it again how repressing scares me and I'm afraid I'm gonna F it up. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna finish this one up. So we've made really good progress on that one. All right, I have been panning a lipstick and in my last update, I was like, oh my God, it takes forever, blah, 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 blah. Um, I used this seven times, I'm sorry, eight times. I forgot all the applications I used today and look where we're at y'all. I mean, right here, the plastic is already kind of catching my lip and we have, I mean, we're down to like nubbins on this. I might be wrong because I've never painted a lipstick before, but I feel like we're going to finish it up this month, that this is going to be the month that this finishes up. Um, this side definitely has the most left, you know, I my lipsticks always have an angle on them because I apply them the same way every time. Um, but I definitely have one side who's touching plastic and then this side has the most left. So I think as long as I use it more than seven or eight times, I am going to finish up this lipstick and I am so excited about it. It is the Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Magic. I actually really like the lipstick. Um, I'm getting a little sick of it now because you know I've been working so diligently on it so I don't actually have a complaint about the product um, I just don't intend to have any more Kat Von D products in my collection like when they're used up there they're going to be gone we won't be purchased I won't be purchasing it from her brand anymore so but that doesn't take away my feeling of joy and accomplishment if I actually finish this lipstick especially if I finish it up next month I will just be over the moon now, a product that I did actually finish up, this was my Victoria's Secret Perfume. It was a limited edition in the shade Night Jasmine. When I started, we were actually like right up here about where the letters, and we are, I don't know if you can see that, we are completely empty. I used this seven times last month, and then on June the 6th, like you can tell, like the cap is half off. This. This bottle has been used and abused, although I still think it is a beautiful bottle. It looked lovely sitting on my perfume stand. Um, but I used it seven times, June the 6th. I completed this up and it will be going out into the universe. Something I rolled in last month was, this is a Bath & Body Works lotion in, the sh um, in Dancing Waters. That is where I started. And this is where we are right now. I use this eight times. So I feel like I should have more use on it. Um, I've been leaving it by my nightstand. I've been trying to put lotion on my legs every night to help with it, but I just, new habits take a while to form and I'm just not in the habit of putting lotion on before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, so. However, even if I only use it eight times, we're gonna be down here now. Um, even if I only use it eight times again, I should almost be finished with this. So I am pretty pleased with that overall. Now, because this is a rolling project pan and I finished up this, 
I'm actually going to roll in another product. And I think I'm going to replace it with something in the same category just because I am such a perfume person. I love them and I've got my favorites that I go to quite often and my favorites, I really cycle through those pretty good. Um, you know, I, I don't feel bad about the size of my collection in terms of perfumes just because I feel like I really do use those products. However, there's always one or two that you're just like, mm, I've been neglecting this. Let's get in, up there in age. Let's go ahead and get it done. This is a um, 7.5 mil Nest Fragrance in Paradise. It is still pretty full. I got this as a sample set and it was just never one of my favorites, even though it doesn't have bad notes or anything. I just never really reached for it. However, especially now that it's summer, it is a very summer floral fragrance. Nest always has the prettiest bottles too. Uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and use this up. So yeah, starting off with a full size and we'll go from there. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in my Rolling Nine Project Pan. You guys are fabulous. Go out into the world, be you, continue to make the world a better place, and I will see you guys in my next update. Bye.